What is up, YouTube? Happy Sunday. Super excited for another day of motivation. Uh, just to give you guys a heads up, it is day number seven. I got to get really good at talking into this thing because I noticed the last audio wasn't the best, but I just got to remember to talk into the microphone. That's why I bought this stupid thing. It's not stupid, but... All right, whatever. Day seven, 75 hard. It's going great. I'm already pretty much done with today. Uh, the only thing I got to do is just finish my water, make sure I don't uh, drink alcohol or eat any cheap meals, which I know for a fact that's not a fucking problem for me. Uh, so yeah, pretty much done. Just got to drink two more of my little shaker bottles of water uh, and we'll be good. But happy Sunday. Super excited. I just read today's read before this or starting this video and it is a fucking good one. So it got me fired up and it's also things that I've also been putting to place in my life right now, especially when I got back into the car business with um, the dealership I'm currently with because I wanted to change a lot of the things that I did uh, before at, with the Hendrick Automotive Group, right? Um, today's read is about enthusiasm. I mean, it just hit home immediately and it kind of made me think about all the good choices I'm making and how enthusiasm is kind of pushing the envelope even more. You know, not only affecting my life, but it's also affecting other people and helping influence them in a better way, in a more positive way, right? We think about enthusiasm, right? What are the things that that commonly brings? You know, it brings excitement, happiness, joy, um, maybe a little bit of suspense, but in a good way, uh, kind of like a thrilling vibe, and, and it's great. So, you know, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I should have started this but it's this way, but it's okay. Uh, my name is Matthew Mazza. I come on YouTube every Wednesday and Sunday to bring you guys a little daily devotional um, and try to bring some motivation to you in your day and, uh, and a little light in your life. And hopefully you guys get uh, something out of these videos. And if you do, uh, all I ask is that you guys share it, right? Like, subscribe, comment, anything you guys want to see, anything that I can get better at, please like, subscribe, and comment and let me know. Uh, so that way I can help myself and also help you guys. I want to just provide you guys the best influence as possible. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I just want to help people in life. My goal in life is to help other people get 1% better, not just in fitness, not just in their lifestyle, but anywhere, right? If, I, if you guys have any questions about maybe like something financially, um, you know, I'm pretty good at budgeting and things like that and getting myself set up right you know, uh, but I've had a lot of mentors teach me these things. So my, my goal in life is just to help people get 1% better in life. And it doesn't matter if it's financial, lifestyle, spiritual, mental, uh, fitness wise, you know, sorry, your physical, uh, just 1% better in life. If I can accomplish that with each and every one of you, I, I know I'm doing the right things. And that's my goal in life is with these videos, help you guys become 1% better. Okay. So, uh, every Wednesday and every Sunday, uh, I have my book, John Maxwell's The Daily Read, a reader, uh, and I go ahead and read from it, and then I provide you my thoughts on the read. So let's get into today's read. So today is May 7th, it says enthusiasm. There is no substitute for enthusiasm. When the members of a team are enthusiastic, the whole team becomes highly energized, and that energy produces power. Industrialist Charles Schwab observed people can succeed at almost anything for which they have enthusiasm. You cannot win if you do not begin. That's one of the reasons why you need to act your way into feeling. You can't break a cycle of apathy by waiting to feel like doing it. I address an, uh, an issue similar to this in failing forward. People who want to get out of the fear cycle often believe that they have to eliminate their fear to break the cycle. But you can't wait for motivation to get you going. To conquer fear, you have to feel the fear and take action anyway. You've got to get yourself moving. The only way to break the cycle is to face your fear and take action. No matter how small or seemingly insignificant that action might seem, to get over fear, you've got to get started. Likewise, if you want to be enthusiastic, you need to start acting that way. If you wait for the feeling before acting, you may never become enthusiastic. The 17 Essential Qualities of a Team Player. No matter how you feel, act enthusiastic about life today. I can't uh, express how much this read means to me. And like I said, um, when I joined the dealership I'm currently with, there was a lot of things that I decided that I was going to change and be different. When I started in the car business, I had an absolute hilarious nickname, and it was Mangry. 
and that's just Matt and Angry mixed together. It's exactly what it sounds like. And at first, I thought it was hilarious and everything like that. Uh, but I was just stressed. I, I chose to be stressed. I wasn't. I was stressed. I just chose to be that way. I chose to be angry. I chose to be stressed out all the time because I was always trying to control things and do things that were outside of my control, which made me angry. And I guess it's a little bit of human nature, but it's still not an excuse at the end of the day when I could have just chose to be happy, chose to be enthusiastic. And not to say I was that way all the time, but more times than not, when people looked at me at the last dealership, they saw me as a, more times than not, just an angry, <laughs> resting bitch face human individual. And, um, you know, I, I tried to change it and it got slowly, progressively got better, right? You know, uh, there came a point in my life where I had something pretty drastic happen to me and my family, and I decided I didn't want to be known as Mangry anymore, so I did ask everybody respectively to stop calling me that for the reasons that I was trying to change. And it slowly got better and better and better and better. And when I left that store, you know, uh, and I started with the store I'm currently with here in Austin, Texas, the one thing I told myself is I have to be a positive figure in this dealership. If I want to accomplish the things I want to accomplish in my career in the car business, which is become a general manager, uh, a part owner or managing partner of a dealership, I have to be a positive figure and hold myself with a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of confidence, and help influence people in a positive way every day. There's no way in hell that I can fucking motivate people every day if I have a shitty attitude because things aren't going my way. So no matter what fucking happens at the store, I have to act in a positive attitude. And if I'm going to act in a shitty attitude, I need to give myself five minutes of isolation to let it fuck me up, and then I need to let it go, right? And these are not things that I just somehow came up with. These were things that my brother-in-law taught me because we talked about it on a daily basis. He was always telling me, your mind is your biggest enemy. And and he's talking about me personally because it, it was. So for me, it was always about controlling my mental. If I can control my mental, uh, my mental ability and my stability at the end of the day, uh, I would be more successful. I would thrive more. I would be able to influence and conquer things more and, and, and live a better lifestyle, have a better uh, spiritual lifestyle, and a better career lifestyle as well. And I can tell you this much, nobody in the fucking world would believe you that I was an angry motherfucker at my last dealership. They wouldn't believe it because I choose not to be fucking angry. Now, am I very direct and do I you know, still try to give people a straight answer on a lot of things and sometimes it doesn't come out in the most you know, uh, maybe happy sounding way? Absolutely. That's just me and my personality and how I like to communicate with people. But I'll never let somebody know when I'm in a bad mood because I will fake it until I fucking make it. And that's what that read really talked about, right? You can't just wait for yourself to be happy. And you know, we used to read this read, uh, these readings every day at the last dealership, like I mentioned. And our old service manager, his name was Daryl, he had a uh, quote that he talked about. And I mean, it just hit home, it hit home immediately. It says, your happiness is determined by the quality of your thoughts. And that's the truest fucking thing in the world, right? It, it's Happiness is a mindset, right? It starts here. It doesn't start by you just wake up and all of a sudden you're happy. You have to choose to be happy. You have to choose to be enthusiastic, right? You have to choose to want to be positive, right? So... I can be angry, I can do all these things, but it, that's a choice. So like I said, it, there's a lot of choices we have to make in our day, and, and that's going to, at the end of the day, um, affect our day. And it's going to help our day either play out really well, or it's going to go very shitty. But it's a choice, right? When I wake up every morning, I start my morning with gratitude. I give thanks to God that he provided me another day, another day of opportunities to learn, to get better, to grow, not only for myself, but for my team and my peers around me. That could be at work. That could be my family. That could be my friends outside of work, right? But that's my, how I start my day, right? There's, uh, I think it's Michael J. Fox, right? He, there's this TikTok and this um, little clip of an interview he did, and he was like, optimism uh, is stable with gratitude or gratitude I don't know, optimism is sustainable with, you know, living a life of gratitude, as I think how we put it. And I can't express, like, how much that means to me and hits home, right? Because it starts with us. It starts with, you know, how we want to start our day. And if you want to look for the good, you'll find the good. 
But if you also want to look for the bad, you'll find a bad, right? Think about when you talk with somebody. If you're looking for the negative things in that conversation, you're going to find it. And you might get into a fight or an argument or a debate that might lead into, you know, a diminishing value of that relationship. But if you're only seeking to listen and listen for the positive things and, you know, and, and try to have a constructive conversation with somebody else, that's going to be one of the best conversations you can ever have, right? I was having a conversation with one of my coworkers yesterday, and he said something like, that's crazy. But when he said crazy, I immediately had a negative thought about that word. But he was like, no, no, no. I'm saying crazy in a good way. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I thought, you know, and, and that's my bad because I was thinking in a negative manner. But he wasn't. He was saying crazy like in a good way. So that immediately changed that conversation. I had to stop, regroup, understand what he was talking about. So that way I was actively listening, listening to him and also understanding where he's coming from, putting myself in his shoes in the way that he's uh, trying to have it perceived, right? So that's the whole point, right? Is it's a choice, right? Don't be so judgmental. Don't be so quick to be defensive. Have a choice to be enthusiastic. Watch how your life will change is, is, is the, or at the moment that you start acting more positive, more enthusiastic, and, and acting in your life with more gratitude. I can tell you this. I am so much happier than I was before when I chose to be angry or, you know, be negative or, you know, just stupid shit that I was fucking doing and I don't even want to talk about it. But my life right now, right, there's a lot of things that I'm still growing at and getting better, but every fucking day I welcome it. I welcome a challenge. I welcome the opportunities to get better with enthusiasm, right? When I get a deal at work and I'm about to, you know, uh, go sign a customer up on paperwork and, and try to sell them vehicle service contracts and gap insurance and things like that, initially, every single time I get a little nervous and my inner bitch is telling me, oh man, what if they don't buy this? What if they give me, you know, questions or objections like this? And it happens every single time. It's just natural, right? But at that moment, what I'm fucking doing after that is my boss voice is telling my inner bitch to shut the fuck up. Like, we got this, right? They're going to buy something. They're going to leave my office buying something at the end of the day. And, you know, with that, we are going to accomplish our goal of selling product, protecting somebody's investment, and providing enough value so that way that perceived value is shared across the board. So when they leave my office, it's not just me I'm helping, but I'm also helping somebody else at the end of the day. So that way I can not only show myself that I'm capable, but I can also show my team by proven results. And it starts with the choice of having enthusiasm, right? I can be scared and you know, when I greet the customer and you know, kind of be timid, but I've been listening to Andy Elliott and um, you know, basically a lot of his videos talking about smiling, you know, greeting oh, the way you greet customers and everything. And it's the truth. And, and I've known that since I started in the car business, right? But the one thing he starts his greetings with is he smiles really big and he just says very, very enthusiastically, hey guys, my name is Andy and I hope you guys are having the greatest day of your life so far, right? If you smile and shake somebody's hand and tell them that, there's no way in hell they're not gonna fucking smile. I mean, they have no choice, right? I hit, some, I hit a customer with that uh, a couple days ago outside. You know, salesperson asked me to come out talk to the customer, help him out, see if we can, you know, get him on the process and hopefully buying a car. And um, the guy was, you know, very monotone, very laid back, patient, you know, I could tell his personality. And I went out there and I said that to him, reached out my hand to shake his hand. And the guy had no other choice but to smile, give me his name, and then word diarrhea out of his mouth, everything that he was looking for, what they were trying to accomplish, right? Um, and that was the coolest thing is just putting those kinds of things into play with the right enthusiasm, the right mindset, and the choice of understanding that you're doing this to benefit not only yourself, but the other people around you, right? Because when you have, you know, your coworkers who maybe are in a position different than you, and maybe they're very new or fresh in the business, and they hear you say something and it works, or maybe you have a process and it works, or show them a method and it works, they immediately looked at that as like, that's fucking awesome. I remember how many times I used to do that. But when I started, I used to fight on fucking shit. Like, uh, there's our old, I mean, not our old, he's still there. New car director, his name's Danny. And um, I had a customer and they were complaining about something. And it wasn't a really a, like a big complaint. It was just a small thing. I think it was like a scratch on a used car. But Danny was like, hey, just go tell them a joke. Just say, hey, it's just the inconvenience package. 
And I was all mad. I was like, I'm not fucking saying that. I'm not doing that shit. They're going to get mad. And I was I was in the mindset of like being closed off, very defensive. And at the end of the day, just being a customer advocate, which you never do in sales. Um, he was like, just shut up and go say it. And I was like, fine, whatever. I'll go fucking say it. But, you know, when they're, when they're mad and angry, I'm going to come blame you. Like, just, just being a dumbass, right? So I fucking went out there and I said it. And they laughed. Exactly what he said would happen, happened, right? So from that moment forward, you know, I started to change. I stopped asking why before I tried it and started asking why after, right? Because nobody that's above you in a position that has more experience than you or maybe just in the same position that has more experience than you that is genuinely trying to help you and be enthusiastic about it is out their way to get you in trouble or do something you shouldn't be doing. They're only trying to help you grow because they've been in your shoes, right? So there's so many things about being enthusiastic that can change your life drastically. I mean, like like today, uh, I, you know, it's my day off and I could have been, you know, lazy and not do the things I said I'm going to do and, you know, try to get up at a reasonable time. You know, I told myself, hey, you know, I, I don't have to wake up at 4.30 because I don't have much to do today. But I'm still going to wake up at at least 5.30 before, you know, wake up before I normally wake up because I can fucking sleep all day. It's just something that runs in my genes. It's, you know, definitely hereditary. My sister is the same way. My niece is the same way. I think my mom is the same way. You know, I could just sleep all day. But, you know, I chose to get up. Yes, I was extremely tired. You know, day seven of waking up at 4.30 to 5.30 and getting after it. You know, it's not easy. But I wake up and I immediately give gratitude. I'm enthusiastic about waking up and understanding that I have things I need to fucking accomplish every single fucking day. But the only way I'm going to do that now is have the choice of doing it positively with a lot of enthusiasm and understanding that there's a lot more benefits than cost of doing it, right? Doing 75 hard is not an easy challenge. But I'm going to do it with fucking enthusiasm and understand that there is so much more benefits that I'm going to get out of this than cost, right? I'm costing myself physical, maybe some time sleeping, maybe some time of just doing some, you know, things, maybe going out and enjoying time with friends and, and things like that, but, or watching a movie or Netflix, but some of those things I don't need to be fucking doing because it's not helping me be optimal, right? So this is going to help me be optimal. And if I can do it with enthusiasm, I'm going to be able to do it with ease and it's going to make it a lot easier for me, Right? doing my nightly routine. Sometimes in the car business, you don't get home at the most reasonable time. But I still have a responsibility to myself to do my nightly routine and get my shit ready for the next day if I gotta go to work the next day. I need to have my clothes laid out. I need my food made, my breakfast made, right? I need to have everything prepped and ready to go, right? Clothes laid out or in my bag and have those bags ready to go by the door. So in the morning, the only thing I gotta do is get dressed, get up and get my fucking ass to the gym, right? Bajor's Koolian said it best circumstances don't change your fucking responsibility. They don't. No matter what fucking goes on in your life, you still have a responsibility to yourself to do the things you say you're going to do. Right? I've been told so much in my life. If you just do 100% of the things you say you're going to do, your life will start to be so much better immediately. And no matter what it fucking is, do it with enthusiasm. When you say you're going to do something, live by the words that you say, and make the choice to do that uh, action with enthusiasm. But, you know, like it says in the book, right? I just said action and enthusiasm. Those things go together. You have to make the choice to feel better. You have to make the choice to take that action and make the choice to take that action and do it with enthusiasm. Nobody's going to make you do anything you don't want to fucking do. It's your decision. We're adults at the end of the day. It has to be our fucking decision to go ahead and do or, or live, our, live our lives the way we want to live it. If you want to find the good, you'll find the good. If you want to find the bad, you're going to fucking find the bad. If you're looking for a fight, you'll find the fight. If you're looking for a problem, you'll find the problem. But if you're looking for solutions, if you're looking for compromise, if you're looking for things that are only going to bring positive vibes to your life, you'll fucking find it. And there's not much else I'm going to say about this read, but man, this shit fired me fucking up. And I fucking loved it. And I'm, I got a lot of enthusiasm right now. All right. And, you know, I was feeling really tired, you know, because I only got maybe five hours of sleep, uh, five, six hours of sleep last night because I got home late because we had a long night at work. But man, do I feel fucking fired up and energized right now. But it's a fucking choice to feel this way. And I'm going to ride this thing out until I gotta go to bed tonight and be up at 430 tomorrow. But I promise you, I'm going to wake up with fucking enthusiasm 
I'm going to wake up motivated and I'm going to wake up ready to fucking go and crush tomorrow because it's my choice and it's my decision, but it's also my responsibility to myself. I have a responsibility to be optimal in all areas of life, right? So that way I can influence others to be similar, if not better, right? I only want to be around A players. I only want to live an optimal life. I only want to live a happy life, but it all starts with a choice and it also starts by taking the action to go ahead and do those things. So I appreciate you guys. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I don't know. I forgot. But appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thank you so much for following. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And also, if you guys want to see anything, send me a comment. Uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'm starting to make shorts now of these videos. Uh, and hopefully that will, you know, provide more influence and, and help me grow a little bit too, right? Because I'm doing this thing to grow my page, grow my following, uh, but I'm not going to do it in ways that are um, bringing a positive in, or a positive perception. Or I'm not going to do it in ways that bring a negative uh, perception on myself, right? Uh, you know, one day if I get sponsored by uh, a company or anything like that, sure, I'll promote that company, but I'm not going to go out of my way to, to promote things just to sell things because... In my life, I'm only going to try to, you know, sell things that I think will bring a benefit, right? That will not only benefit myself, but it will benefit you and everybody else around you. So uh, my main goal is to help everybody live an optimal lifestyle, get 1% better. And I hope I'm doing that every single time I provide you guys these videos. But thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a fucking awesome, enthusiastic Sunday. I will see you on Wednesday for another motivational video. Let's be optimal, let's be enthusiastic, and get 1% better.